Welcome back to Make That House a Home Mondays. I'm Faith Amina and I'm so excited that you clicked on this video. Thank you guys so, 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 so much. I love you guys from the bottom to the top. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different from my other Make That House a Home videos. Definitely make sure you check it out. I have one of the cards come up so you guys can check out that series and know everything about that and what, I'm be, what I've been doing. But today is gonna be a step back. So as you guys can see, I'm brown, African-American black, and I love it. I love the skin that I am. I believe that my creativity matters. I believe that my voice matters and I believe that my life matters along with so many other people in this world. But that being said, on Make This House a Home Monday, we are definitely going to start looking into some brands that are African American owned. So as I went throughout my house in this series, I was like, okay, I still need more things. And so some of the things that I need, I wrote it down, are I need a bed frame. I need, I need a bed frame for my master bedroom. I need a rug, I need a desk, I need a desk chair, I need a day bed, I need a lamp, I need wallpaper, and I need candles. And those are just some of the things I thought about. Not going into like the real like nuances of really what, you know, jazzes it up. Cause I, that's all another conversation. Stay focused. Okay, so with all that being said, I was like, these items I can get from black owned businesses. You know, I've always been that type of person to support black owned businesses. I go to black owned restaurants, I go to black owned uh, venues. I like to shop black owned. I've been doing this for years. I suggest that all my friends come to certain places that I know are black owned businesses. So it's like, where do you want to go eat? Oh, I heard about this new brunch place that's black owned. Or what are we doing for your birthday? We're going to this black owned restaurant to celebrate. Things of those natures. Home decor. I never really bought anything home decor from a black owned business. Not to say that I didn't want to, I didn't mean to, I just didn't think about it. But now it's really clicking. And my goal is to really patronize black owned businesses from like the top to the bottom. So from jewelry, from food, from home decor, from candles, well home decor, to like just the whole thing. A utopia of living in a black owned, black business, black community. I digress. So with all that being said, I went to the internet and I looked up some black owned home decor businesses. And I ran across this blog that had a list of 25 plus brands and I will link that blog down in the description below so you guys can check it out too. I really think they're a heaven sent and I like that it's all in one spot and it was, kind of, it was broken down into different categories. So that was wonderful as well. So some of the brands we're gonna be looking at are from that blog post. And moving forward, we're gonna be doing a lot of reviews and home decor things with these brands. So look on that, look out for that. Make sure you are subscribed so you can see that journey and that process. Today, we may or may not buy something. I'm not sure if this is a shop with me. It may just be a browse with me. I do wanna give the disclaimer that some of these brands uh, products are a little expensive and I'm okay with that because when I think of these big box companies who have like bookcases that are $20 those bookcases are usually flimsy they've been mass produced they're not really they look a little cheap they might not be um, they're, 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 they're just not something no shade because I bought them before this is not something that I want to continue my life into doing. I always talk about upgrading my life and making a change. And this is, I, I feel for me, one of the ways I can do that. With a black owned business, it may be more expensive, but that, that item was either, is one of a kind, one of a series. It was, you know, made with more care and tender. I would like to hope to believe so. It's from a good company, a good cause. Uh, the people look similar to me. So when we're looking at prices, don't feel alarmed. Uh, I want you guys to have an open mind because for me, I know I have not always bought things that were expensive, but I'm trying to get out of that mindset. Check out my video on living, of uh, getting out of fear. And fear has definitely 
pulled me back, especially with money. If you watched that video, you definitely know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, go check it out. But I don't want to do that anymore, and I want quality over quantity. So with that being said, even if something costs a lot more money than what I'm used to, I'm going to save, and I'm going to make it happen. Captain. This is what I'm standing for. This is my pledge to my community is I'm going to start putting my money back into them. And that's just what it is. Period. Uh, so let me stop rambling. Let me stay focused. We can talk about this whole idea that I have in another video. Comment down below if you like what, I, what I'm rambling about. And maybe we'll have another video on Friday about that. But for right now, I want to show you guys the brands that I found. And I'm so excited for these brands that I found. Also, if you are in a small area or you don't know where to begin either, definitely check out that blog post. And follow me on Instagram or not. You know, it's up to you. It's a free country. Uh, and you guys will see a post that I have. It's talking about shopping with black-owned brands and businesses. Whew, a lot of bees. So, ooh, I had a bad a, a joke that wasn't that great. I mean, it was great, but it's, it's, it's not appropriate. Ah. You look on my Instagram page, there is a post talking about black-owned brands and businesses. That post, if you live anywhere or you don't know where to start or you're just curious about some brands out there, that post has a, like 50 to 60 brands that you guys can look at um, throughout the the, the world some of them are podcasts some of them are uh, businesses some of them are entertainment it's just check it out I encourage you to check it out and then if you know of anybody and you're watching this video right now leave it in the comments so we can have like a whole forum going down in the comments because I don't know everything I don't know all of the businesses but I would like to get into it more so please share with me and let's go shopping so I'm going to start on the actual brand itself, The um, so it's called Real Simple, I guess that's the name of the blog or the organization, and it's home organization slash decor, 25 plus black owned home decor brands to shop. So it's really cool, this was made pretty recently, so I believe the, uh, the links are up to date. Produced on June 4th, 2020, so you know, pretty close to the date that we are now. In the future, you might want to, um, like I said, the comments should have some brands and then my posts on Instagram will always be there so you can always use that as resources. And so it just breaks it down into like home decor shops. I guess these are actual like brick and mortars. And then you have paint. I didn't even know paint could be, no thanks. I didn't even know paint could be like uh, a thing but it is uh, I didn't even think about that but I would definitely look into the next time I start I want to start painting things then we have or painting walls and then we have ceramics broken down into a couple of different ones decor and accessories candles bedding and furniture pillows wallpapers like they broke it down into nine different categories and I think that's so great. So we're just gonna go to one that I already have open in my tabs and it's called the 125 Collection. I love this brand from what I can tell so far. I haven't bought anything but this is probably something I am gonna buy today. Oh no, it's sold out. Oh jeez. Huh. Oh no, just that one. No. Oh no ma'am. Oh okay, well y'all pop in, okay. I ain't even mad at y'all. I ain't even mad at y'all. So they have, let's, let me take you back to the homepage. So I'll take you back to the homepage. As you guys can see, they have the three, the mini candles, three, four, 30. And I really want to get them. They have quotes on them. And I just think it's really cute. Like some of the quotes they have are really, really dope. Like they have kindness is so gangster. Like, yes, black girl magic. Yes, ma'am. Wake up, kick ass, be kind, repeat. Hello. That's a that's a that's a word. That's a ceremony. If let like the church say amen. Um, I'm doing a lot right now. But that's just how I feel. Like this really gets me pumped. Like this really gets me ah this one I like the most because I don't have a dog yet, but it's coming. I I love to 
but my dog said no no i haven't told you guys yet but i'm definitely getting two dogs when and where i don't know yet but it's coming i put it in the universe and i just gotta wait on it trust your dopeness hello but yeah there's just a really cool brand they have um a really cool i just like that i think that's really dope I'm assuming that it's these two women right here that you see, but I'm not quite sure. You guys can do your own research. They have an about me part, I, and I really like this. Uh, I really like this website. It's it's pretty smooth. It's an urban luxury candle brand. I want to be in the luxe life, so you know this works out for me. Based in New York, yeah, I wanted to get the three mini candles for thirty dollars, but apparently. They're so out of everything but one fragrance and I want to get one from each so I can like test them out but it's okay. I might just suck it up and pay $30. So I know some of you guys are like $30 for a candle. Yes, $30 for a candle. Um, because that's what I want and I deserve it and I can have it and it is what it is. Point blank period. And I know, like for me, I'm used to definitely buying like the $5 candles from Ross in the clearance section. And they be bomb. They be bomb candles. Where they coming from? I don't know. Who made them? I don't know. Who's who's the CEO? I don't know. What are their values? I don't know, but it's $5. All right, sis. Get it together. Um, so I will do $35 for a candle. I do not know which one I want. I really wish they did not sell out of the other one because I want to smell each one of them and then get like my signature scent going. But I do know I like lavender, so that might be a thing um, that I go with. And then, you know, I'll just come back and try it again. Maybe they'll have this sale going on again at another time. So definitely this is a brand that I will probably be buying from and definitely will be giving you guys a review about. So if you like candles, check them out there's a whole bunch of black owned candles uh businesses i just really like that they have a quote on top of it like <laughs> wake wake up kick ass be kind repeat like that's that's a good mantra to have that might even be the daily quote the the daily affirmation down in the description if you guys don't know the description box is full of a lot of goodies like i have daily affirmations in there where i get things from you guys should check it out so yes, this was a cool brand. Another brand that I really like. We're just gonna open up the other tab that I have. Now, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly. Lin, Lin Otto. Lin Otto? I could be saying that wrong. Don't, don't, don't take me up. So yeah, I could get, you know, $20, $20, $20 off. That's really, that's a pretty good deal. And so they have linen curtains, uh, kitchen dining and all that good jazz. I believe they're based out of New York as well. I'm not sure. I really like their brand because it just looks clean. I just like how it looks. What I was saying earlier about, you know, paying for what you want, getting the things that you want, putting that money in there. Now today, am I gonna be buying that? No, because $500 could go somewhere else right now. But I will be putting money aside too pay for this because I believe in it and I like the way it looks. I don't know how it feels, but visually, it's a vibe. Uh, and I might just start small. Like, you know, you don't have to go for the big ticket. You can definitely maybe go smaller. And they have a sell section. Hello. Okay. Yes. They got towels. Helper uh, linen towels, yes, I, I'll probably do that. $8, no problem, say less. Uh, the pillowcases, the, maybe for the guest room because I need satin, I need a satin pillowcase because you know, my hair or whatnot. They got uh, these quilts, a duvet, a duvet is a, oh, it's a duvet cover, so whatever. It's still nice, like this is all good for me. And to be honest, when you go to Bed Bath & Beyond, some of this stuff be really, like, not that cheap. They they be hitting heads, too. So if, I, if I'm if i okay with, you know, spending my money at Bed Bath & Beyond, why won't I spend it here? That's how I'm feeling. This is another brand. It's a furniture brand. I really liked it. Uh, some of the furniture that they have was really cool. I don't actually need any furniture right now that they're offering, like they have a couch. I have my couch already. They have um, st 
stackable mugs. That's cute. I have enough mugs. So I need to get rid of my mugs before I can get any other mugs. But you see that chair right here? This um, chair by... I don't know if I'm going to pronounce that right. I don't want to pronounce any of this right. See this thing that's $99 right here? We're going to click on it and open it up. I think this would be a decent... Uh, I think this would be a decent desk chair to have near a desk. So, yeah. I mean, I was looking at a chair like this on Amazon for $130. So I'm kind of saving money. Ow. And it's going towards something that I like and I want to support. Okay. Boom. Another brand. We opened up another tab. Yes, brown queen. Yes, shave head. Yes. I love everything about this picture. So, you guys can do your research. Read it on your own. I'm not going to read it for you. We're going to get right into shopping. Um, but I like the things that she has. She has uh, a really funky design pattern going on that I really like that could really be like a pop of color everywhere. So we have wallpaper. Let's go look at some of her wallpaper because like I said it before, I do want some wallpaper. Oh, I apologize that many of our items are currently out of stock. That's okay, baby. I'm gonna come back. Thank you enough for supporting my small black owned business, but please try to understand we are a tiny company and due to current events happening with this new COVID-19 landscape, our orders are taking a little bit longer. It's okay, I got patience. What? I got patience. You know what? I got patience. Rosa Parks. I got Rosa Parks patience. I have a, a boycott patience. I'll be fine. Don't worry, it's coming. I ain't got nothing else to do but to be in the house anyway. It's coming. I'm good. I got you, boo. We're going to buy some stuff. So, some of the things that she has. Now, the wallpapers are $300. And you're probably thinking, like, what? $300? I can get something from Amazon. You can. And you, you might. But who are, who are who's their, their CEO? Yes, they're giving jobs to the, the, the delivering people who are... African American or black, but what about like who's really getting top dollars? Oh, okay, I'll wait. Oh, I right. let me not go on that rant, but I like these. I like a lot of these. The little hopscotch paper. If I had a child, a little girl that would be in there, like what? <laughs> oh, we in there like swimwear, but I don't have a child yet, but you know, it's coming. This uh, flooring floor, uh, floor wallpaper, $225. I like it. I like it. I can put that in my bathroom. Enchanted forest wallpaper. Like that one too. So I right now I'm just gathering information. I'm gathering information to figure out, okay, where we're going to start putting our money. Let's pull it together. Let's, you know, save up a little bit. And we're going we're gonna to make it happen, Captain. Let's go. So this was really cool. What else do they have going on in here? Miss Sheila. What is this? You got some furniture going? I don't need no furniture right now besides a bed frame. Oh, you got some clothes. Oh, we got an umbrella. I like this umbrella. Look at these mugs. Harlem Toe Glassware. Let's open it up and let's see what it's about. Oh, it's out of stock. That's cool. I'll be back. Don't you worry. I'm going to put a bookmark on it. Or I'm just keep this tab open. That's probably what I'm really going to do. I like this. Let's see. Let's see. Samples. Okay, please note that our samples are for color and texture. The size are small and random and do not show the full pattern and repeat. That's fine. They are shipped via UPS 48 hours. Okay, 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 okay. Next tab, let's open it up. Oh, <laughs> that's not a tab we're talking about for this video. All right, <laughs> sorry guys. Let's go back to the blog because it was, uh oh. There was one blog, that, uh, one that I really want to open up and I don't know if I did it or not yet. Oh, this one, the Black Market Vintage. I like, I like the aesthetic of this brand i really 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 like it the shop is temporary closed okay because this is a brick and mortar 
this has a brick and mortar. I wonder, can you still, are they still selling things like online? Their philosophy, their philosophy. Yes, look at that. Look at that philosophy. Look at the philosophy. I'm gonna hold it on the screen for you guys can read it. Cause you know, I want y'all to read, use that brain. Yes, yes, yes. I love it guys. So now granted, some of the things that they have on their shop is not something that I need or want right now and oh my card is empty here yeah. and so with that being said I'm, i i don't need to just buy stuff just to buy things but i definitely they have gift cards look at these little things these are so cool i i feel like this is like a almost like a thrift store but it's black owned um or like if you ever been in dc on is it 14th street and i think it's called like miss Miss something. I can't remember the name of it, but it's like a storefront collection of just like little ends and odds and gadgets and gadgets. I feel like this is kind of what it is, but on the internet too. So I like that. I love things like this. Um, something black leader Leon Williams. So like these aren't things that I actually need, but these are things that could tie a room together, tie a, you know, tie something together. Look at these VH. These little cassette tapes, they got Space Jam, VHSs, yes. Okay, let's let's see what kind of VHSs they have. Now, I don't have a, I don't have a, a VCR player. Mm -mm. And they on sale, Death Comedy Jam, Martin Lawrence, Tooth in the Raw, I've never seen that movie. Oh, maybe this is live stand-up. Mm -hmm. This is so cool. Um, it's an investment, guys. It's an aesthetic. It's a, it's a vibe. So these are just some of the ones that I looked at. We looked at what one, one, two, three, four, five, five companies. Cause I don't think this is. Yeah, no, that's not it. Five companies, and that's just five out of the twenty-five plus that they have. We like, it's just. It's cool, it's awesome. You guys can definitely, definitely make sure to come back to my channel and check it out because we will be having some reviews. We'll have, we'll be having some products from these companies being put up in the house on Make That House a Home Mondays. And I'm just excited to go down this, this, this new world, this new avenue. If anybody knows where I can get a bed, a bed frame from that is a black owned company, please let me know because that's what I'm really, really looking for. I have a king size bed and I want a bed frame for it. So yes, if you was looking at my organization video, stop. If you was looking at my organization video, you know I was contemplating on getting like a queen or a king, queen or king, king or queen. I stepped out on faith, no pun intended. And I uh, got me a king size bed, so I'm really excited about that. That's a little update. With all that being said as well, this is the conclusion of our video. I probably will buy this candle, so we're gonna have a review on that candle coming up soon. Like always guys, I love you guys from the bottom to the top. Make sure you guys are supporting something that you love and you cherish. Uh, if that's supporting me, thank you. If that's supporting one of these brands, thank you. If that's supporting one of your friends that look like me, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I wanna shout out to everybody who's African American. I wanna shout out to all black lives. I wanna shout out to all of our allies that have come through and stand up and is saying, hey, this isn't right, this isn't, this isn't real. I wanna shout out to everybody. And even if you don't understand and you're confused and you don't, you know, you've been in your ways and your mind process for so long, it is okay to turn it around, to pivot, and to change your mindset. Your voice can be heard. Um, hopefully it's being heard for something positive and not the destruction of human beings because that's what we are, we're people. Uh, we have blood just like you. We have eyes, we have ears, we have friends and families. So with all that being said, guys, I love you guys from the bottom to the top. I hope something in this video helped spark your day, gave you something to think about, helped you out with something you were doing. And until next time, guys, thank you so much for coming on this journey with me. Bye.